said. Yeah. So, uh, beautiful day. Uh, it's a bit warmer than two days ago when the last time we were here. Uh, we got David here also. He's gonna. He wants to focus a bit more on the water reading side of uh, of things. Uh, we're gonna be talking to Yun, uh, big black tail couple steam race around as well. So the water is definitely much much nicer. We had a massive swell last time. We have a light south easter is literally picking up now, so that should settle the water slightly as well, bringing a bit more color. We have fresh prawn, uh, stinky red bait, fresh red bait, and fresh white mussel. So uh, let's see what happens today. Because you don't want it with the force of the cast, you don't want that bait to slide down and clog the hook pull. Like a stake. And over here, you just keep it together. Because it's going to be a long cast, you don't want to come flying off halfway through. Yeah. Right? Not a very big bait, just to get it in the zone for now. So uh, this is our first cast of the day, quite a deep cast right to the back. So uh, probably a minute in we had an invite, so the rod went down and just came in slack. Unfortunately didn't commit, so uh, we know they're here. And the tide's going to start pushing now properly any second, so yeah, it should be a good morning. Again, after you made the cast, just to find some reef, just slowly wind in your sinker until you find the first little rock. Just pull it up against the rock. There's the first one there. Missed it. There's the second one. Come on. If you don't find the rock, just reel in and cast again. We found a little patch of sand, it was, it was nicely opened up, there's a lot of exposed reef. It's been sanded up now in the last two days, so uh, I've got a couple of sand prawn and uh, put in a grab sink as well, just to fish a little sand bank. It's not very deep, probably one and a half meters deep. Really nice piece of soft rolling water, so anything from a steeny or even a black tail or anything. Uh, but it's a really nice piece of water, so yeah, we can give it some time and see what happens. Alright, so uh, we spent about an hour here. We had one invite uh, and one little nibble, so yeah, it's not working. The, the hole's um, sanding up at the moment as well. Two days ago, we didn't have any issue. Uh, we made a cast, the sinker got stuck immediately, so we found reef. Now it's, it's like a, it's a struggle. So we're just going to look for new areas. Uh, we had a big swell the last two weeks here, so there has to be new areas that's, uh, that's opened up. So uh, yeah, we're going to go and find some of them. Very nice piece of 
we're done. Main thing is we need to find reef. If we got to find reef, we're probably going to get a fish. There's no side cut or nothing. Let me show you. Okay. Guys, so we've uh, we've got our third spot moved today. Being uh, yeah, it's not a red bait. All the all the previous spots of the last couple of days have been sanded up completely. So we're just going to keep on moving until we find fish. And that's it. If you don't uh, if you don't move, you're not really going to find fish. There's no point in sitting at the spot uh, all day long, and you know there's no fish. It feels like the tension. So just make a move and yeah, keep your mind going and yeah, look for this fish. Okay, well, we had our first uh, first cast, first decent pull. So it's definitely looking a bit better. It's nice time to push slowly. It's almost springtime, but it's heading into spring. So with a piece of red bait, I've added a, just a gut for white muscle, just to see what they're really feeding on today. The water's not cold at all, so I am hoping or expecting good things. Bump. As soon as you feel the first bump, put your hand on the reel immediately because you only have it one chance sometimes. They're going to wait, wait, and then if it pulls down, just wind them on. Okay, so, uh, yeah, what, we, what we're going to be doing now. We found a little spot that's opened up uh, behind me. You see it's even rolling water, nice, not perfect rolling water. There's a bit of a sandbank there and the depth is also not bad. So while we're waiting for the tide to push a bit, I'm just going to put another prawn bait on that bank. It can be anything, it can be a steady, a black tail, big sand gully. So yeah, just a bit of variety. So, uh, yeah, it is Cape Town, we didn't have the other glamorous species, but we're going to take what we can get today, definitely. So I was going to show you guys again the white muscle bait. It's such a universal bait. Anything, anything eats it. So, pull one of adrenaline. Pull the tongue a bit just to give it a, a bit of shape. All you do, you're just going to put it there in the, in the gut bag. Fold the tongue around like that. And that's your bait. Now I'm just going to use your bait cotton. Just to secure it properly, again, when securing a bait, you're going to tie it up tightly around the eye hook. That will be your anchor point. Just start there, like a stave. Let it hang, work the way up. So, see there's the eye hook. And now just, you don't want to put it too tight, just keep it together. Just knock it home too fast. You got the poop suck over there. So the whole unit will only eat that. So there's no need to open it up or to just try and keep it intact. Because that's the meat and potatoes they're after. Yeah. And then when you want to tie it off, just have a look at this. Once around your finger, twice around your finger, just grab a little point and tie it off. Okay, 
so yeah, finally we're gonna roll something on here. The previous cars we had a better bite, a uh, hook still on stick, but they are beautiful as camera. You probably got 40, just over 40 centimeters, so they need to be 16, you only can, uh, can keep one, but ideally, yeah, they're very threatened. So yeah, uh, to run the not so fresh sand from vapor jar work. They are beautiful, right? Right, so on the day like today, uh, yeah, we'll definitely take this uh, piece of red bait. It was in for about five minutes, and it's the first proper pull of the day. It's been, it's been tough, very, very tough. David did really well there. You know, the fish just pulled the rod flat, and yeah, he came in and perfect little hook up in the circle. It's not going anywhere. God, well done, man. How oh, beautiful. Yeah, this is probably about 30 centimeters. So he's definitely going to go back. We have to make another point now. Alright, so it comes uh, to the end of the session. It was a tough one. It was really, really tough. Well, we can't really put our finger on it, but there was a hell of a lot of small fish in the water, like small. Every single cast was just seconds and your bait was stripped. That's the one thing. And the bigger fish just didn't commit. No one on the beach got, got fish today. Like nothing. Uh, between probably about 20 odd vehicles, so it's, I don't know, it's one of those days, I guess. Uh, we were fortunate, we got that young Stembras here, we got the young Khali, and my client today, David, he really just wanted to spend time on the water reading, so we did focus on that a bit, which is very, very important, water reading. So, uh, but yeah, tomorrow's another day, so uh, let's all time see what happens.